to the Little League Softball World Series presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. Greenville, North Carolina, Stalling Stadium at Elm Street Park is our home all week long for the 50th anniversary of Little League Softball, the World Series. Greensburg, Pennsylvania represents Mid-Atlantic, taking on Wilcox, Arizona, representing the West. We cannot wait to get started. These teams traveled from all around the world. I have butterflies, Jenny. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Hattie McCumber with her first strikeout of the morning. There's one away for the West. And speed definitely hitting her spots. Another strikeout back to back for McCumber. Two away for the West. And a ton of emotion out of coming some of the nerves of these young ladies. That ball's floated in the air to second. It's batted off the glove of Cassandra Ramirez. So Mid Atlantic has a base runner. Nice job by Luft to get the bat on the ball and extend the inning. 0 2 pitch, swing and a miss. Three strikeouts for Hattie McCumber. The runner is left. What a fantastic job in spell. That's right. That's hit hard on the ground. Get to the left side of the infield. That's a leadoff base hit for Aguirre. What a way to start. Three strikeouts out in the challenge. That's right. Ball inside. So McCumber works a walk. That'll put two on for the West and bring up Lily Williams. Fan, she's an Arizona softball fan. Of course. That one skips in. It looks like it might have hit her. And both of the runners take off to advance. So West has runners on second and third. Well, and that ball did. No, everybody would be on if it hit her. She oh, that's swing, right. That's so right. It would have been everybody on. That ball gets away. Coming in, and Geary's called out at home. Nice job behind the play. Ryan Stars. Legal pitch was actually called on this play. And so because of it, it could change things up for the way that that play was the potential pitch that was called before the play at home. Jenny is what you're talking about. Reset. Can, can take the result of the take play. Take the result of the play. Or reset the or batter. Or reset the batter. So Lily Williams was just called out at first. So we're going to get an understanding of that huge turn of events for Pennsylvania to be able to pull not only oh. the out at the plate, but the out at first as well. So two outs. Two outs hit on the ground to third. Reamer over to left for the third out. So we'll explain all of that when we come back. But we're... Yeah. Coming really wide or outside oh. those 24 inches. And because of it, it's illegal. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for McCumber. Five so far for her. She is rogers to get some confidence and be able to kind of get ahead, right? So if your team is batting first, that was hard hit to second base, by the way, for the third out of the frame, that you get some confidence. So right evolved throughout the years. Sometimes they're more complex. Sometimes they're so original. Swing and a miss for a strikeout. The second force to Bill this morning. A long way, girlfriend. Ball four, you're gone. Ball four, so a one out walk to Madrona. One forgive me for the before January 1st. It's it on the ground, a third. Reamer across the diamond. Good, strong throw to Jalen Luft for the second out. I think she may have thought it was a foul ball. She might have. On the swing. On the swing. That's a foul tip, or excuse me, a pass ball. So now Madrano. To new field for these young ladies, right? Just kind of learning how far the backstop is, what kind of room you have, being aggressive early. Another strikeout there, the third out of the frame, and the runner is left a strand. I've been able to hold opponents to very low scores, ton of strikeouts, and right now, with opportunities and run with runners in scoring position, both teams struggling to push one across. Six strikeouts for McCumber and a Fouts. The Pittsburgh Pirates, she's very eclectic in her favorites, which I love <laughs> so much. And there's another strikeout for McCumber back to back. That's been the day's food for tomorrow. Mia Graft hits it on the ground. McCumber who fires over a 1-2-3 inning for the oh, West. Seven strikeouts for Circle. 
for Pennsylvania. Hi. Sanchez goes to Wilcox Middle School. As she pops that one up. Second base, Hurt. Jocelyn Luft makes the grab, and there's one away. In other locations, you're seeing three and a half hours wide to be able to pull together an all-star team to make it here. The fourth strikeout for Stabil. Need to take off out of the box. How many times have we seen that miscue? That one's hit on the ground. Back to Stabil. Over to first, one, two, three inning for Pennsylvania. The pitchers Hatters left before they flip back over to the top, but to be able to put the ball in play is important. We need to challenge this Arizona defense, and so far, McCumber has been able to do most of it herself. Eight strikeouts so far this morning. She's able to mix in that change up the second time through the lineup. It'll give hitters something else they have to think about in the box. And she goes up to get the strikeout. Back-to-back -back case for McCumber. It feels to me that the hitter or left, who's known as a slapper, just needs to punch it through. Yeah. Swing and a miss. McCumber wins the battle. One of the best we've seen so far this morning. Hattie McCumber, 10 strikeouts. Last forever. And or those relationships that you make on the field, <laughs> so important. Genesis Quesada are so seasoned at such an early age. Right now, the biggest difference between McCumber and Stabil in the circle is strikeout numbers. Drop third strike, Aguirre safe over at first. So heads up by her to get down the bag, despite, we've talked a lot about her dad, but her grandpa Marvin is someone she also looks up to. As she hits it hard on the ground, right back up the middle. The ball is going to get away from Stabil and both runners advance. So Hattie McCumber with the leather and the lumber puts runners in scoring position for the West. Yeah. Pitcher at Penn State herself, and so she's got experience in the circle, oh. especially in moments like this. Dead ball, dead ball, All right, dead so that's ball. a dead ball. It hit the batter, Lily Williams. So that's going to put runners on every base for Arizona. This is a double play up the middle, but right now the defense is pulled in. It looks like they're coming home with anything on the ground on the infield. That one's on the ground to short. Play is not able to be made. Two runs are going to come in. McCumber from second is safe. And Arizona on the board first. Oh. It's all in play with runners in scoring position. And as the bases are juiced, this was an opportunity for the shortstop Hopple to be able to come home with that ball and get the force at home. But the throw a little bit wide and Ryan Stars and uh, Jalen Aguirre's sorry, all over the map right now. Ryan Stars oh, okay. feet, seeing the circle on a strikeout that she is now able to do at the plate. That one trickles down the third base line. Reamer with the arm makes the out. Fantastic job and grab over at first by Jalen Luft for the out. Oh, you're Pulling the ball off of Stabil right now. Medrano hits it in the air to short. Nice two-handed catch by Piper Hopple, but the West strike first. Believe that he's here, we're gonna have to find him. But how special is that? As that ball is hit hard on the ground through the right side. And Piper Hopple has a leadoff base hit for Pennsylvania. Well, it's this part of the lineup that is so dangerous. See if she can force the catcher to do something special. Just a little mix up. And so Hopple is going to take second and head to third. She slides in and they're going to call time because there was an interference. Yes! Has. Right, you have not seen the ball in play very much because McCumber is so dominant. And now, maybe a little bit of a miscue mentally, and not as sharp as they need her to be. And because of the runner at third base, they will give way and allow the walk to turn into a... That one's on the ground. McCumber backhands it, but it gets away. A run's going to score, and Pennsylvania's on the board. It's two to one, Arizona. Well, that was going to be a difficult play for McCumber to make anyway. It was a backhand, a ball to her backhand. She was going to have to really cover some ground to get there. It gets underneath her glove and trickles away. But because of that, it does allow a run to score. And with runners on the corners, Pennsylvania still threatening. Magical.
stars back to McCumber. She thinks about first, goes home. Nice job behind the plate by Aguirre to secure the ball. The runner is out. There's one away. Parties, hashtag girls with game. We'd love to see them. Square round, strike, th strike, excuse me. Both runners advancing on the play. Good heads up base running again by Pennsylvania. 0-2, the count to Stabil. Change up from McCumber. She breaks that bad boy out. There's two away and her 11th strikeout. Point of emphasis that I think that they are ready to call here in the World Series. Swing and a miss. A dozen for McCumber. Two runners left, but Pennsylvania does get on the board. They cut the lead in half. That's on the ground to third, right down the line. A throw over, strong as ever from Peyton Reamer. And there's one away. Hey, you can find Little League on Facebook. X. And we are going to cross our fingers and hope that all of you will pray that the rain stays away and that those games will be able to be played. That one's hit in the air foul territory, but Jalen Luft is able to make the grab. Two quick outs as they walked in to stay in the exact same hotel that they were staying in. Oh. So that one hits her. Stay here, stay here. She's going to stay down. Hopefully she's OK as Patrick McCumber is going to come over as well as the trainer. And that's a difficult spot to wear a pitch so tough. Great job by Sanchez to be able to just walk that one off and head down to first base. Defense to play. In the air, right field, that's going to get down. Great piece of hitting by Reyes. That allows Sanchez to go to third and put runners on the corners for Arizona. That was an absolute shot. That's outfield, great hit. That's hit on the ground. We know Reamer's got the arm and she's able to make the play and leaves those runners stranded. Nice job by... Swing and a miss. The Baker's dozen for McCumber. Softball World Series. That is strikeout 14 for Hattie McCumber. Sensational. Hey, do you want your child to experience the teamwork and just looking to open this one up? And they do. They win game one of the 2024 Little League Softball World Series. Patty McCumber, 15 strikeout performance, a record for Little League softball in the World Series. An unbelievable job by her and her team. They win two to one over Pennsylvania. Well, and while McCumber did such a good job of going at these hitters and racking up a ton of strikeouts, I was impressed with the tenacity of Pennsylvania to be able to rack up a run, find some hits, and keep themselves ready to go, knowing it's going to be a long way back to make it to the championship. Yeah.